Hey everyone, it's Jill and today we're talking about cleaning up rhythms with your ensemble using sizzling. This works really great when you have a super complicated rhythm that really needs tightening up and you don't want students to focus on pitch, on vowel shape, on anything else except that rhythm for a little while. If you haven't done sizzling before, all it is is using your tongue and your teeth to go tss, so after you've had your students write in their counting or whatever method you use to learn your rhythms, have them all do it together using a metronome. That's a very important piece. Set your metronome so that everyone can hear it and have them all sizzle it together. You can do as many repetitions as you need with just the rhythm before the students go back to singing or playing it. And a good medium step is to, after they're done sizzling, to have them play or sing it on a single pitch so that way they're getting their instrument involved and then go back to using the rhythm within uh, whatever phrase that they're trying to practice in their music. Here's a bonus tip. If you are working on a rhythm that has a lot of longer notes, use attacks only. So if your rhythm is then instead of having students hold that long note, play because that longer note is where a lot of your weaker counters will get lost and start to wander off. So if you do attacks only, then that will ensure that everyone is moving when they need to.